Okay, so this is the second video of uh, me building my Eurorack synthesizer. Uh, what's on the screen is uh, videos of me soldering this Frequency Central Microbus PCB. Um, I was looking at getting maybe the tip top or 4MS power kits, uh, but a friend recommended that it, you can get this PCB for about 12 quid. Uh, and I ordered the parts off Tider Electronics for about fiver. And it essentially only costs £17 to make uh, power for your Eurorack, which I think is really good. Uh, I've done almost no soldering before. I've done a little bit in school. Um, but I bought the soldering iron for about 20 quid off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description to all these things that I'm mentioning. Uh, and it was fine. I found it reasonably easy. I watched some uh, tutorials online. Sorry about the camera struggling to focus a bit but uh, I forgot to turn autofocus off but you can still see roughly what I'm doing. I'd say this is probably quite obvious but make sure you solder the smallest things first because I made the mistake of soldering in the transistors and some of the capacitors before the diodes because I forgot about the diodes and it just makes your life easier soldering the small things first. I also didn't have any sort of wire clippers that could get really close so I had to use nail scissors which uh, you can it works but it's a bit tough so I'm gonna get some wire clippers it's possible that also some of those helping hand clip things could make it easier um all the stuff i'm saying is fairly obvious but it's stuff that i haven't thought of uh, so if you decide to do this project then it might help uh, the power headers are a bit time consuming obviously because you've got to do 16 solder points for each one but actually i found it quite easy because they start to get hot once you've soldered a few of the pins um the component starts to get hot and then all the others work really quickly so they weren't as hard as I'd expected. Another thing to remember is um, the two, I think they're power regulators, uh, it'll say on the build document need the big metal things screw into them to help the heat dissipate and you do need a screw to attach them um, but we just luckily we had one lying around but they were quite easy. As a whole it's um, quite an easy project. I have next to no experience with soldering and I got through it all fine just you know take it slow make sure you check the polarity of uh, some of the bigger capacitors and the diodes and stuff but i found it all very clear um and i definitely recommend it the frequency central package came within just a few days the tidal one takes longer because it comes from thailand and it's an american company uh, but i still think it was cheaper than most of the places that i looked at in the uk even with the delivery, because I was getting a bigger order with some guitar pedal parts as well. And this is me just doing the final few cuts of the wire, and uh, that's the finished PCB. Uh, the only thing I hadn't soldered at this point was the DC jack uh, for the power, because I was doing an off-board one. This is the DC jack. I just drilled a hole roughly the right size and uh, bolted that in, and then bolted in the two rails. I just did this sort of I didn't mark anything out I just looked at it and roughly got it right and that was good enough for a DIY project I did put two washers on either side because the case I got given was a little bit too big uh, when I was screwing them in I just had two blind panels on to get the spacing right uh, and then to attach the PCB I just drilled two holes through the wood I put the bolts through and then put three nuts underneath and one on top to keep it straight and I just did two corners and that was enough and then here you can see uh, I just soldered the two legs of the uh, DC jack which I tested with a multimeter to check which was which. Uh, it doesn't matter which way around they go in because it's an AC power supply uh, so I just soldered them to the points and then this is the bus cable connecting to my module. Uh, the blue line lines up with the white line on the PCB and there's my first module. It's a Dreadbox Omicron uh, going into my mixer. And then here are some sort of sounds I got from when I first powered it up. I was a bit surprised they worked, uh, but it did. And uh, here are some sounds to end the video.